Welcome to Birds of Prey Sports, where we cover Orioles and Ravens news weekly. We're your host, Jared and TJ. And in this video, we'll be covering the Orioles versus A series, the first time we're seeing Oakland um, this year. And, um, you know, obviously Oakland has been kind of buns, you know, the last two seasons. Uh, last two seasons, yeah. Um, you know, I believe they lost over 100 games last year. I want to say they lost over 100 in 2022 as well. You know, they kind of gutted their team. You know, they had guys like Chapman, you know, Matt Chapman, Matt Olson, and, you know, and others, you know, Marcus Simeon, I think was on the team at one point. And you know, they they had a good squad and, you know, they, they really disbanded it, you know, because, uh, you know, they don't like playing their guys. Kind of sounds familiar, unfortunately. Um, You know, so hopefully we have different, you know, path here. You know, obviously we were probably never going to play guys like, you know, Nelson Cruz and, you know, Manny Machado and Scope and all these guys, you know, but, um, Hopefully we have a different path here, you know, because Angelos isn't the owner anymore. But um, this is the last time we're facing the A's as Oakland in Baltimore, um, because they are making their move to Los Angeles next year. Sorry, um, Las Vegas next year, which they're not really going to be in Vegas. They're actually going to be in Sacramento. So I don't know if you heard about that. Did you hear that they're they're moving to Sacramento next year, so their stadium can be built in Vegas, and they're, they'll have no city designation next year. It's not going to be the Sacramento A's or the Las Vegas A's. It's just going to be the athletics. That's it. Nothing, no city to it. So, um, uh, I didn't absolute, know that. Yeah. Um, so absolute, um, clown, you know, owner and, you know, just feel bad at it for the city of Oakland, you know, I believe, you know, the Warriors moved in to San Francisco, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Did they move into San Francisco uh, with their new stadium? Yeah, they did. Let's see. The the Raiders moved to Vegas, and so Oakland Raiders are moving to Vegas now. So um, Oakland, Ra- well, Oakland Raiders. Oakland A's are moving to Vegas now. So I don't think Oakland has a professional sports team. You know, maybe a hockey team, but I don't think so. So um, I, I, feel bad for th- I feel bad for those fans in Oakland. You know, I, I couldn't imagine if the Orioles and Ravens left, you know, so – but anyways, um, we're just gonna get right into it, you know. Here, um, can you see my screen? Yes. All right. Well, apparently it says it's not loading. Here it is. Um, well, the series just to start off great as we lose the first game three to two in ten innings. Um, let's see here. Um, Langoliers gets the inning. The game started with a home run, one nothing Oakland. Um, you know Burns always has to have his first inning home run for some reason. Um, but the Orioles start to get scoring here in the third inning. O'Hearn singles to center. Um, Henderson scores to tie the game at one. Mullins homers in the fourth to make it two to one. Um, Toro hits a double to right to score the game tying run at two, and then Rooker doubles to left to eventually give them the win, um, three to two. As we can't we couldn't do anything in the bottom of the tenth. Um, um, let's see here. Uh, our top hitters in the day. Um, Rutschman goes one for three with a walk. O'Hearn goes two for four with an RBI. And, um, I think Mullins goes one for four with an RBI home run and a run scored. And that's kind of it. Um, Santander goes, uh, gets a double his seventh on the year. Mullins to home run his sixth on the year. Um, our pitching line, Corbin Burns goes six innings, three hits, one run, one earned run, three walks and strict six strikeouts and a home run given up. Danny Coulomb goes two thirds of an inning, one hit, no runs, no earned runs, no walks, and a strikeout. Junior Cano goes one and one third, no hits, zeros across the board with two strikeouts. Craig Kimball comes in and struggles. Um, he goes two, he gives up two hit, he goes one third of an inning, two hits, one run, one earned run, three walks, and you can see by the pitch count, twenty four and only eight strikes. So, um, not a good uh, outing for Kimball here. He goes, he blows the second save in the year. Keegan Aiken goes two thirds of an inning, zeros across the board, and one strikeout. Jacob Webb comes in. He gives her the game winning run. He goes an inning, one hit, one run, um, and uh, one strikeout. He gets a loss. His first in the year. He's on one. Disappointing, you know. Um, you know, Mason Miller comes in and shuts the door down um, on the Orioles. Um, one of the up and coming closers in this league just throws some gas. You know, has just absolutely nasty stuff. Um, this these Oakland A's team, you know, they see their eleven, their ten and sixteen coming in and. They just split a series with the Yankees, um, and they came into Baltimore and, and took the first game in stunning fashion, you know. So kind of give me a reaction to game one of this disappointing loss. You know, I was surprised, you know, just how able their pitchers were able to keep us in check. And, you know, this is going to be something that kind of reoccurs throughout this whole entire series. But 
I mean, just surprised, you know, usually, you know, guys, Kowser has been hot, you know, um, even um, Henderson has been hot, you know, in, in Westburg and, you know, they just weren't there in this game. And, you know, I just, I just wonder, you know, what happened? You know, where were they? Did they, did they stay in a, you know, in a, in a clubhouse or something, you know, so their pitches were just able to really keep us in check in this game. And, you know, um, Miller, their closer, He's going to be a he's going to be a good closer for a long time. I mean, I just saw him just dominate us, just slam the door like how you said. You know, it seemed like we've been going against some really good closers, and you know, it's just it's good for us, but it's bad for us at the same time because these yep. guys are just absolutely slamming the door in our face. Like it's just crazy. So that's just my take on it. They just kept us in check the whole game. Yep, exactly, and you know. They had clutch hitting when it needed it as well. And, you know, me and you were watching the game in the ninth when McKenna, again, just botched the ball and right in, in, in the outfield. And, gee, I mean, as an outfielder, that reaction was terrible. You know, it looked like yeah. he was thinking about his, you know, dinner reservations or something. And then oh, he's like, oh, shit, I got a ball coming to me. You know, and it looked like if, you know, O'Hearn out in the outfield, you know, I mean, and, and McKenna's supposed to be an outfielder, you know, and, you know, Kimberwich was just terrible. I mean, he could not find the strike zone. It was a mess of a performance at the end, and I don't know. I, I, I'm incredibly disappointed. This is a game the Orioles should have won, you know. Like, we should be 17-8 and eight at the end of this game, you know, and just an absolutely disappointing loss and, you know, just looking to get on track in game two and, that's exactly what we do. We shut them out seven nothing. Me and you went to this game. We had a we had a very very good time. Um, you know, we got uh some great you know food there. Um, you know, uh, maybe we should do a Birds of Prey uh food review channel or something like that. You know, Kevin Yards. We try at least every state every uh vendor there. Um, we I mean, hey, I mean, two things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, we like Jimmy's. You know, we like you know fuzzies. Um, and that's it. Uh, well, to be fair, we haven't tried. I mean, they got Lito's Pizza there. You like Lito's Pizza, so that's something we gotta try next. Oh, I, I want to try their mozzarella stick place too. They also had a place that sold nachos and margaritas or something like that. And yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that actually Monday. Yeah, yeah. So whenever we go back, I gotta try that, and I want to try the mozzarella sticks too. You know, so um, but anyways, enough talking about food here. <laughs> um, the Orioles obviously the only team to score in this game. Sometimes they're doubles to left, makes it one nothing. Westberg singles in West uh, Santander to make it two nothing. McCann singles. Um, he scores Westberg to make it three nothing. And the Orioles just have a home run party. Uh, Rutschman hits a home run to make it four nothing. Mountcastle home runs on the next pitch, so back to back home runs to make it five nothing. And Henderson hits a two run shot to make it seven nothing to really put the game away. Um, and the Orioles get their first. I want to say it's their first shot of the season, if I'm mistaken. Um, I don't. I kind of want you to check that for me. Um. Our top hitters in the day. Henderson goes two for four with two RBIs, a home run, and two runs scored. Um, Rushman goes one for four with an RBI, home run, and a run scored. Mountcastle goes one for four with an RBI, home run, and a run scored as well. Mm, excuse me. Santander goes one for four with an RBI and a run scored. Westbrook goes two for four with an RBI and a run scored. Um, McCann goes one for four with an RBI. And those are our top hitters in the day. Santander gets a double. He gets his, his, his eighth double in the year. Home runs, Mountcastle hits his third, Rochman hits his third as well, and Henderson hits his ninth. Um, our pitchers in the day, only three. Finally, not, you know, a basketball lineup and you know, you know, no tour dates and or whatever. Cole Swerving Irvin, you know, we we always laugh at that name, but he was swerving today. He went seven. And we needed it, we needed him to do it too. That's the crazy part. Is it seems like when we need a, a really good start from our guys, they seem to do it. Like the bullpen's gassed, we need a deep start from our starter. Cole Irvin did that; he did a great job of doing it as well. Like I said, seven innings pitched, four hits, no runs, no earned runs, no no walks, and five strikeouts. He's two and one on the year, and these last two starts from Irvin have been incredible. I believe he went six versus the Royals, and then seven versus the A's. You know, you know, quality of competition probably isn't there. You know, but I mean, you want to dominate those bad teams. You know, which the Royals aren't a bad team. You know, they they seem like they're on the rise here. Oakland Athletics also not really – they're a bad – I don't even want to call them a bad team. They seem to be, on, you know, on the going on the right track, you know. So, 
anyways, you know, we needed to start from this to all use two guys after that. Bauman comes in, goes in inning, one hit, no runs, no earned runs, no walks, and a strikeout. Um, Tate goes to inning, zeros across the board. Uh, oh, with one, I'm sorry, he walks one, so not zeros across the board. Um, so, you know, shout out to our pitchers today, you know, making quick work, you know, only 112 pitches thrown, you know, I, you know, it kind of makes me mad that they only used two bullpen guys, <laughs> you know, you know, they, they lost seven, nothing, but still only used two bullpen guys. So you'd never see how I do that, by the way. Like if one of our guys went six and went third and gave up seven runs, like that'd be incredible. And only use one guy after that. Like, come on, you got yeah. to the seventh. So, um, but anyway, so kind of give me a reaction to game two, a game that me and you both went to. Yeah, and you know to answer your question earlier, this is our this at this time would be our second shutout of the year. We shut out the Royals five to nothing, um, a couple of series back. So this is our second shutout mm-hmm. of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my thoughts about this game, I'm not gonna lie. You know, obviously, me and you both went to this game. We had a blast. One thing I will say, this felt like the fastest Orioles game ever that I've ever been to. Like everything just went right for us. That. This game just went by super quick. It seemed like <laughs> it, it felt it felt like 30 minutes into the game, it was already in, in the fifth inning. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Know? I remember that. Yeah. Like the like because I think they were both no hitting each other like the yeah. first four innings or whatever. And it was like going like <laughs> it was just it was just going by fast. I mean, and you know, once the bats just started going for us, you know, it, it was just it was history. And you know, I will say. Our our clutch guys came up today, you know. Yeah. Mountcastle, Henderson. Um, did I think did did um Rushman hit a home run? Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, all three, all three of those guys all got a home run and to see it back to back like that, it was amazing. You know, and um this is like the complete opposite of what happened in, you know, the first game. You know, they just came into Camden Yards, they shut us out, their pitchers did amazing. Well, we just beat up on them. We beat up on them. We didn't necessarily pounce on them, you know, early on, but, you know, we got it going. You know, we really did. We got it going, and, hey, a win is a win, and that's all that matters. So yep. it was a great uh, game, a well-executed game, a flawless game, and, you know, a fun one to be at. Yep, love shutouts. That's I, lo- I don't know. I, I just I love shutouts, you know, when it comes to either, you know, I, you know especially when it comes to baseball, you know, and, you know, your guys shutting the other team down for nine innings. Like, I, I love that, you know. So, um, great. Get, you know, I'll give my MVP of the game, which we have, we don't, we don't ever do. But if I had to give one, you know, I had, I'll give it to Irvin, you know. Shout out to him. He's had some, he's honestly, he's fighting for a spot in the rotation, you know, with two, with, you know, Bradish and Means coming back up. So, you know, shout out to him. So hopefully he, he continue to be a beast versus his former team. You know, he, you know, so shout out to Irvin in this game. Yeah. Shout out to him. So, anyways, we're going for the series win, and unfortunately, we do not do that. Um, we lose the last game, game three, seven to six. Probably the most one of the most frustrating games of the year, in my opinion. Um, and I'll get I'll get to that in a second. Um, um, what's what is it? The A's start start off the scoring early with a home run. Um, Brown hits a home run to make it one nothing A's. But then the Orioles get it right back. Mullins uh, grounds it to a fielder's choice, but Santander scores, makes it ties it at one. Cowser doubles, makes it two to one Orioles. Um, but then they take Lee right back. Lede doubles to tie the game at two. Brooker singles and scores two to make it four two. And then the Orioles come striking again. The Orioles come in and, and take the lead again. Rutschman hits a home run and make a four three. Mountcastle has a two run shot to give us a lead five to four. Arias gets his first home run since I want to say like they said like July 9th of 2022 um, to make it six four. Um, but here come the A's. You know, Nevin, Tyler Nevin, you know Tyler Nevin. You know, he used to play for the Orioles. He hits a solo shot in the seventh to make it five to six. And then McCann hits a two-run shot, and not James McCann, obviously, and he's not related to McCann either. Um, at least I don't think so. Um, McCann hits a two-run shot in the ninth to ultimately give the A's to win seven to six. Um, and another blown save from Kimball, which we'll get to in a minute. Our top hitters in the day. So, uh, Rutschman goes one for five with an RBI and a home run and a run scored. Our Hurden goes one for three with a run scored. Um, McKenna goes one for one. He's batting 1,000, so... Um, you know something right, I guess. <laughs> you know what's even stupid about that? His hit what? wasn't even really a hit. Like it was like a swinging bunt that was thrown over the first baseman's head. So I don't know <laughs> how the hell that was a hit. Um, but anyways, Mount Castle has a great day. He goes three for four with two RBIs and a run scored. 
Um, Mullen doesn't get a hit, but he scores once and um, he gets an RBI. Kowser goes one for four with an with an RBI as well. Arias goes one for four with an RBI home run and a run scored. Doubles in the day. Uh, Kowser gets a double, his seventh on the year. Uh, Mountcastle hits a home run, his fourth. Arias hits a home run, his first. And Rushman hits a home run, his fourth as well. Um, pitching. This is what we don't like to see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys used in a loss. Um, let's see here. Uh, Albert Suarez makes his third start as an Oriole. Not as you know, not as great as the other two. He only goes four innings, seven hits, four runs, four earned runs, one walk, six strikeouts, and a home run given up. Oh, oh, sorry. So late here. Um, Keegan Aiken goes. He, he looks, he continues to impress, to be honest. He goes two innings, zeros across the board with two strikeouts. Danny Coulomb comes in two thirds of an inning, one hit, one run, one earned run, one strikeout, and a home run given up. Jacob Webb goes one third of an inning with zeros across the board. Cano goes an inning, one one hit, no runs, no earned runs, no walks, and a strikeout. And Kimbrell, just, just, this is worse than Friday, to be honest. He, he doesn't record an out. Um, one hit, two runs, two runs, one walk. It has to be taken out of the game to back tightness. I don't really know if that was an injury per se, but he was, he was, I guess it was just because it, he looked really bad. Take goes an inning, zeros across the board and one strikeout. And Mason Miller doesn't even freaking pitch and they still dominate us in the bottom of the ninth. Whatever this guy's name is, a Craig. So, um, Kind of give me your reaction to this disappointing loss and kind of disappointing series, to be honest. You know, we really let this one, you know, fall out of our hands. It felt like a typical, you know, Baltimore sports team loss where, you know, we have the game, we have the momentum at some points and we just let them come back. And, um, you know, again, you know, our, guy, our, our, our main guys, you know, Henderson, Rutschman, you know, and, um, I'll say even even Mullins and Cows are, you know, not having their best games. You know, obviously Cows are, I mean, he did something. He was one for four and Rush survived. So, you know, he did he did something, but we could have got a little bit of more out of some other guys, you know, and that definitely would have kind of changed the tide, you know. And um we just didn't I don't do know. I just I just I don't feel like this is really the offense's fault. I mean but, six runs, but Campbell comes in, doesn't throw strikes, and gives it the game-winning home run. Like, you score six runs in a baseball game, you know. I mean, the bullpen's job is to come in and shut the door down, and they gave up f- four runs. So, I, mean, I I get that, but I don't. it just seemed like we didn't get those Orioles hits in some moments that, you know, we usually do in, like, you know, in, a, in the eighth inning or in the ninth inning. So, you know, it wasn't enough. But they didn't need it in the eighth. I mean, they were still winning. They needed it in the ninth, enough. but I mean, we get the air yeah, sucked out of us. With the freaking... it, it wasn't enough. So, well, Kimbrough needs to be better. Well, Kimbrough's hurt, so I don't know when he's gonna when Kimbrough's gonna be back per se. But I mean, he's looked. I'll be frank with you. His last four outings: two versus the Angels, two versus the A's. They've looked. He looked atrocious, especially the A series. You know, and he got out of it in the Angels series. He got built out. You know, but in this series, he just he couldn't find the strike zone. He, he didn't even record an out in this game. Like, it was it was ugly, you know. And now we're dealing with possibly no closers at the moment. Uh, heading into the Yankee series. And, I mean, you're going on Monday. Um, well, we already win, I guess, you know. But, um, so, yeah, like, just, just can't lose series like this, you know, because you were winning in every single game and going into the ninth. And you, you only win one game in the series, you know. So, you know. Shout out to the bullpen, I guess, you know, for, you know, messing that up. Um, Kimbrell especially, you know, and I guess it's kind of a testament of, you know, using a 36-year-old closer and kind of like how we used Bautista last year, you know. So, I don't know. I guess you'll have series like this every once in a while. So, you know, is that all you guys say with this Oral versus A series here? You know, I'm just this, – this up this upcoming, you know, Yankee series that is ongoing now currently, but it, it's it's very important, you know. So I'm hoping that, you know, we can finish off strong in a Yankee series and, you know, really get it going afterwards, you know, not have sloppy and just, you know, losses like this, just annoying losses like this. Right. Exactly, you know, and, you know, it's, good, it's, it's better – it's the best time to get it together, you know, and, you know – 
it's gonna be hot, you know. So hopefully the ball flies out of the yard for us, and you know, um, I don't know. Like we just can't lose series like this. To be honest, we just can't. I think you said that it was their first. It was the A's first win over an A-least opponent, a series win since like twenty twenty one or something like that. Something so ridiculous. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, slightly embarrassing that that was against us. It's one thing if it was in Oakland, but it's the one. What's another thing when it's here? So. Anyways, that'll be a a, a recap of the Orioles versus A series. Um, you know, disappointing, like I said. Um, hopefully bounce back versus the Yankees. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Share on TikTok, Instagram. Make sure to check out our Instagram. I'm making some, you know, game day posts. It's kind of slack, and I need to do it. I need to be consistent with it. But um, you know, I, I'll get into the groove eventually. Um, you know, also final game posts. Uh, check out our TikTok. You know, we got some content coming there. You know, from when we go to games. Um, check out our second channel, Casual Cinema. There's a lot of good movies coming out. You know, it's about to be summertime, so all the summer blockbusters are coming out. So, me and TJ, me and TJ, will go see those. Um, and uh, we're birds first, we're, and we're out. We're out.